Hello! Today we're gonna make HDRI from Blender for Unity and Go to Engine. So this is I made from Blender. As you can see there, there is a huge plane. In the scene is actually a light source. It used the <coughs> emission the shader with the strength 1 with the white color. And other cubes are just cubes with the default material. So press Shift C and this is the actual the render the result so um, first you have to do is to go to here and set the device to GPU compute if your uh, graphic driver support it this will significantly increase your total rendering speed and go down set the resolution to something like this 2014 and 512 it must be uh, power up to two size and then go down and the purpose here and set the, the tile size to 512 by 512 the default value was the 64 by 64 and increasing this value will makes your rendering speed a little bit faster you have to find a proper size of your computer and then uh, select the camera here and go to the camera tab and set the panoramic lens type here also set the equirectangular note that this type is only available in the cycles render engine okay and then make sure that you place the camera to your desired direction something like this you can see the camera's view by pressing the numpad 0 and shift Z and this is the the preview of the, our um, panoramic the texture which is a HDI anyway and press the F12 and here's the render result and then uh, go to the image and save as image and then let's save it as the something like this sky map HDRI something like that now we are in the Unity, and then just um, drag your the image into the Unity project, and create a new material, Skybox, and select your material, and go to the inspector, and change the shader to Skybox to Panoramic, and drag your image into the spherical HDR slot, and then go to the lighting tabs and drag your skybox material to the skybox material slot note that the lighting tab is uh, should be somewhere like here settings anyway after that you can see that the skybox is changed now but there is a, the weird the gray line middle of the skybox to rid of this select the image itself and uncheck this generate mid maps and hit apply will remove that line and this is the god engine so just like unity drag the image in here and uh, create a new node in here something like a environment and select the environment node and create new environment and open it and open the background and change the background mode to the sky and click the sky slot here create new Paranama sky and click it to open and drag your texture into the Paranama slot and there you go note that the the texture is a really a low size so that you can see the result is quite a bad quality to improve the quality simply increase the resolution of the your image so in here is a is 1024 is 512 something like a 8192 and 4096 uh, I hit press F12 I render again it will take some time because it's quite a huge image I'll save it 
image as the override the original one. I go to Unity and copy this image and show in the Explorer and Ctrl V to paste and override. Now the, the sky box is way much clearer than before but however in here you can see that the size is the 2k by 1k size so the original image we was we just rendered is the 8k by the 4k size so make it fix just click the override for PC blah blah here and set the max size to the 8192 and it apply now our HDRI size is increased in Goto Engine you don't have to do some additional stuff like Unity just to open the the file location and to override the file will fix immediately okay it looks great the sky box is really clean and high quality just like in the unity as well okay I hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe